Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will give a short intro on battery management system using active cell balancing methodology. Here you can see model and if you want to purchase this file, then I will add link in description below. You can go and purchase this file. Okay, here you can see in this part, you can read SOC values and in this part, you can control charging of a battery pack and in battery pack, I am using three cells. It is active cell balancing using flyback transformer methodology. And uh, this is a uh, load and uh, with protection part. Here you can see load and this is the protection part. And this is the controller which will control the switching of uh, switches. Here you can see I am using many switches. Okay, this one, this one. There are many ideal switches. Okay, controlling of ideal switches is done by controller. This is a controller. Guys, first I want to discuss on active and passive cell balancing. Here we are using active cell balancing methodology. Active cell balancing means making the SOC of each cell equal without wasting any energy. In active cell balancing, we will transfer energy from one cell to another cell or from two cells to one cell. Whereas in passive cell balancing, to make SOC of each cell equal, we will waste energy through registers. Here you can see I am not using any registers. Okay, it is just active cell balancing using flyback transformer methodology. Well, in active cell balancing, there are many methodologies and in passive cell balancing also there are many techniques. Okay, each technique has uh, one advantages and disadvantages. If you want to read uh, uh, on methodologies, okay, active and passive cell balancing methodology, then you can visit our website and click on battery management. You will find one article on different cell balancing methodology. Okay, here you can see different types of cell balancing topologies. Just open this article. In this article, we have explained everything in detail. Here you can see cell balancing topology. Okay, it is of two types. One is passive and active. In passive, again, there are two types that is fixed shunting resistor and switching shunting resistor. In active cell balancing, again, there are many topologies, methodologies. You can read this article. Okay, we have explained everything in simple words. Just visit our website that is CS Electrical and Electronics then click on battery management you will find article. Let's come back to this model. Now let me run this model and I will also share with you SOC waveform and uh, we will also see voltage and current values. Before that I will share with you initial SOC of cell 1, cell 2 and cell 3. The initial SOC of cell 1 is 40% here you can see and the rated capacity is 2H and nominal voltage is 3.7 and the initial SOC of cell 2 is 58% and initial SOC of cell 3 is 50% Okay, I want uh, to charge this battery pack Now let me run this model in this display you can see SOC values okay after few seconds the SOC of cell 1 cell 2 and cell 3 will become equal now you can see it is equal that is 62 now I will pause this guys here you can see it is 65 now I will click on continue now it is 67 and now it is 71 And if you want to stop charging of battery bag, then just instead of 1, type 0. Now you can see the SOC value is 70.8. Now I will connect load with the battery pack. Okay. To connect load, you have to type 1 here. Instead of 0, type 1. After that, after few seconds, I will create overload condition 
once the overload condition occurs the relay will sense and it will disconnect this ideal switch okay it will make this ideal switch open uh, by that the load will be disconnected from battery pack now let me turn on load i will make this one here you can see in this display it is one and you can read here current value and let me share with you soc where here you can see the soc is decreasing because we have connected load now let me create overload condition i will keep this one now you can see it will be zero because i am connecting okay one more load with uh, the present load by this the overload condition occurs and the relay will sense it and it will make switch open once the switch is open the load will be disconnected from the battery pack this is how bms works the main function or main work of bms is to make soc of each cell equal and to protect the battery pack from overload conditions well guys this was about bms and let me share with you SOC waveform now the SOC is 7.94 because we have connected the load okay let me pause this and first we will see initial value here you can see the initial the SOC of each cell was different after applying cell balancing technique the SOC of each cell will become equal okay and then battery pack will get charged up to 79 percent after that we have removed charging okay we made switch zero so that the charging of battery pack was stopped and then uh, for few seconds it was constant then after that we have connected the load so the SOC was decreasing here you can see and after few seconds we have disconnected the load by creating overload conditions okay we have disconnected the load from battery pack again the battery pack soc is constant okay this is a waveform of soc okay i will pause this and uh, i will run this again here you can see now the soc value is equal okay now i will stop charging of this battery pack and uh, i will connect load okay i don't want uh, overload condition also i will connect load for few seconds let's say Now I will pause this. Now you can see the SOC value is 30%. Okay, now I will disconnect load. Okay, we will make it 20%. Again, we will charge. Okay, if it is less than 10%, it will become bottom balancing. So we will keep more than 10%. SOC value we will keep more than 10%. Okay, now I will. disconnect load okay wait here is the constant i will make it zero and i will charge battery pack now i will click on continue here you can see guys soc is increasing because it is top cell balancing if the soc of each cell is less than 10 percent the condition will be bottom cell balancing means the soc of each cell will become zero first then the battery pack gets charged if the soc of each cell is more than 10 percent it will consider as top balancing okay top balancing means first the soc of each cell will become equal then the battery pack gets charged here you can see the waveform okay let me click here you can see the soc of each cell is equal you please study uh, uh, some information on uh, top and bottom cell balancing so that you can understand a little bit more
well guys if you want to purchase this model then i will add link in description below you can go and purchase this file thank you for watching this video have a nice day